What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about when we will get Final Fantasy VII's Part 2. Now, everybody is obviously really, really in love with Part 1, as they should be. I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal game. I've been playing it as much as I can be uh, over these past couple days. Um, and one of the things that always jumps into my mind, I know this sometimes makes people upset uh, when I do this, when anybody does this, is kind of looking forward to the next thing. I try to kind of hold myself back, but I do like to discuss it. And with this one, it's a little bit more of an unknown because I feel like there is there's a lot to talk about and there's also not a lot that we know about the part two for this game but remember this game firstly it's got one year of PlayStation exclusivity so it's only going to be on PlayStation 4 or at least uh, for one year and then who knows after that maybe it comes to PC maybe it does make its way over to Xbox at that point it'd be like Series X Xbox One um, but we know that that part we know we also know that they have been in development or they are making a part two and that it has been development for a little bit of time now the earliest articles i can find is back in like november november october ish of 2019 where square enix had confirmed like yes part two was being made like actually being made not in a conceptual phase but it was being made so that is good news but that is not all that long ago and although that i'm not you know and, and whenever normally i see something like that i'm really one to always jump into well you know they could be working on things for months or for years before we even find out about it. So just when they tell us it's been, you know, a little uh, while doesn't mean it's literally been a little while. It could have been a significant amount of time beforehand. And for me personally, I really hope, I hope and I wish that it has been for a long time that they have been making this game. Now, maybe that's been confirmed somewhere that I just haven't seen. You guys can definitely let me know, you know, if I'm wrong in the comments, definitely uh, go at it. But I hope that it's been in development for at least, I don't know, at least a year, at least a year plus. Um, part one took a while to make. Obviously, it's been a long time since we knew that this, you know, Final Fantasy VII's remake was coming. And again, it's amazing. It's everything I and and being a first time Final Fantasy seven uh, player, and this is only my second Final Fantasy game I've ever played. I've played fifteen, and that's it. Besides this, um, I'm really really happy with it. And again, it kind of goes to that uh, that side of me that again, maybe not everybody uh, enjoys, but I want to have. Basically, I just want clarification as to when I can expect the next one because this one's good this one is meaty it takes like 30 40 50 hours to beat the whole thing that's great but at the end of the day it's only half, pretty much, of the journey of Final Fantasy VII. And, again, like what we've talked about with uh, people's criticism of the game overall, seems to be the addition, and I can even tell that, I mean, I haven't played the original game, but I can see it. You know, the additional side quests and the additional, bas basically, padding of the game is part of the weaker thing because they made Part 1 the length of the entirety of Final Fantasy VII, but it's only half of the story, and so you need the, the second half. But, again, also from a first-time player, like, I want to see where it's going now yes I've heard things and I've tried to erase it like Dumbledore uh, mind tricked my mind out of you know remembering stuff like that um but you know alas I I, I know what's coming but I want to see it in front of me and what I find weird about something like this is the fact that it could take multiple multiple years I don't think You'd want to, like, I, I when I say that, I don't think, like, from them. I think in their mind, I wouldn't think that they would want it to stretch out very, very long, right? Because at the end of the day, also, you have to think of the future of Final Fantasy. I know people had said, like, Final Fantasy 16 probably isn't for quite some time because you'd want to get this done. Um, and, and that is a good point. Also, does this then bridge the, the way for brand new, for other Final Fantasy games, basically, to get a remake? You know, a lot of people like 10. 10 seems to be another pretty popular one uh, I know eight and nine uh, some people would say and everybody's got probably their own personal favorite but it's just interesting to think about the future of Final Fantasy but also just in general just from a basic gaming perspective if a game that is part of an overall game so uh, part, like part one part two of an overall you know Final Fantasy 7 if it takes too long I believe it does kind of take away from the overall thing. Now, again, I, I keep, I, I want to keep, you know, mentioning that I like, I love actually Final Fantasy VII's remake. So I don't want people to think like, oh, I'm so anti or I'm ready to like move on from it. No, but if we get part two, like three to four years later now, so if we're into 2023, 2024, and we got part two, well, it's been like it's been a long time since we played part one. Now part one doesn't even maybe hold up as well, right? Because it's been so long. So now part two is just like staggeringly better than part one, just because of, of how it can run and maybe they have more time to do things, all that kind of stuff. And then like 
if you put it together as like an overall picture, maybe it doesn't like hold together as well. I don't know. You know, episodic games I've always had that problem with, and I've always voiced my opinion on this channel with with any episodic game. I hate the scheduling of episodic games. And by the way, I understand it's not the same thing. It's actually this is a very very over exaggerated like version of that, right? Because you have episodic games, Life is Strange, uh, you know, Don't Not in general, Telltale did a terrible job, I'd say overall at their releases. Some of them, some of them, they had okay, like we're gonna try and nail this uh, specific schedule. Life is Strange was notoriously terrible. Not really the first game, more or less uh, season two was absolutely awful with their release schedule. And when you have stuff like that, I don't know, just from me playing a game, and that by the way is a game for the first time ever, right? We Nobody has ever seen Life is Strange 2 or Batman the Enemy Within, or you know, pick your Telltale game or pick your Don't Not game. Nobody ever played that before. So you're trying to play a story that can be you know put together and some people may just wait till the very end to play the whole thing and they can do that and it's gonna flow however it does suck that we have to wait so long and I think in the moment it takes away from when you're playing it so for Final Fantasy honestly it's not the exact same thing but in a lot of ways it is because for me this is a first time player for me and do I want to play half of the game now and then the other half in three to four years it doesn't sound great when I think that um, now again if we're asking the question when will this game release I hope it's sooner I really really do but the way that Square Enix operates the way that it takes so long to make these games I truly can't possibly picture the part two of Final Fantasy VII releasing faster than two years. So I really feel like we're going to have to wait at least two years at minimum for part two. Is that too long? Maybe, but it's, and, and I would actually probably say it would be fine if in two years from now we get part two. If it's three years, if it's four years, if it's five years, if it's, if it's taking as long for part two as it took for part one, then it's kind of like, all right, I mean, I get that they're basically their own games, and that is kind of the point, and maybe they did that on purpose, right? Because they're like, well, we, we have to make these games as standalone games because maybe people are going to play the first game but not the second game. Maybe people won't wait or won't want to wait for the second game. By the same time, again, to tell a full-on story, you're not going to get the full Final Fantasy VII experience, not the entire thing, by just playing this game that we just received. You need you need all of it. However, I mean, I guess they could do more than two parts, uh, actually, but I really hope they wouldn't do that. Um, but that really, sadly, is the situation we're in. I don't, again, I don't want to make it seem like I'm just bashing them because I love what we got. I want to see what comes next, right? And again, kind of no, but I want to see it in front of my face. Um, and so I am pumped for a second game. It's, it's basically just me wanting to see this game sooner rather than later. And I think that's ultimately uh, uh, the big picture here is that I want this game faster. Now, again, I'm not one to rush games. I've always been a fan of delays. I've always said that on the channel. So I'm not saying I literally want this game tomorrow. I understand. I mean, I do. I would like it in my living room tomorrow, but I understand the process that it takes, you know, what, what goes into making a video game. I understand it. I just wonder, especially with them, again, I can't find anything earlier than like this past fall of them confirming like it's been in development, but nowhere have they said when they started it or anything like that. So maybe that is out there somewhere but hopefully they've been working on it for at least a year or so because the longer you know this the shorter amount of time that they have been working on it means the longer amount of time that we have to wait for a part two so guys let me know in the comments below uh what do you think firstly do you know you know something that i don't basically do you think uh that they've been making this game for a uh, quite a bit of time when do you think part two is going to release do you think we're gonna have to wait two years do you think we have to wait three years four years how long do you think let me know again in the comments make sure you guys subscribe to our youtube channel podcast now hit that bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up and i appreciate you guys watching so so much stay safe out there guys enjoy final fantasy 7 i know i am lots to enjoy in that game and i hope to see you all on the next video